but more than that nizam's attempt was basically nizam and razakars together they wanted to alter the demography of hyderabad so the best way of altering the demography of hyderabad was to throw out the hindu population so atrocities on hindus became so common that hindu majority market places were burned hindu women were paraded naked hindu women were made to disrobe and then you know perform what is known as batkamma batkamma is a festival that happens during vijaya dashami where uh, f- uh, you know um, the image of the deity is uh, beautifully decked with flowers and then it is kept in the middle uh, in the, at the center and women go around that and perform uh, rounds of that and then sing songs of uh, uh, um, songs uh, in uh, you know to in obisans to uh, goddess batkamma batkamma means goddess of life so women were disrobed they were uh, asked to perform batkamma without clothes and this happened many places in many places there is this famous story of a woman called nakka andalamma nakka andalamma was uh, you know paraded naked and made to perform batkamma uh, without clothes and after that she felt the um, she felt you know that the only way she could redeem herself was to kill herself she jumps into a well and kills her, herself till 1970s uh, a community called bala santulu made money out of singing the story sad story tragic story of this uh, nakka andalamma they used to get into the trains get into the buses go to bus stands and sing this song of nakka andalamma how she you know bade farewell to her relatives and then jumped into the well and then how she killed herself uh, how she martyred herself and how she was made to go around and do batkamma without clothes and all this story was public knowledge till 1970s till 1970s so this uh, we had lot of stories like that and there are stories you know um, not just stories there were real incidents where the youth of a village were p- you know gathered in one place they were made to stand in one queue in a queue and then they were shot dead they were you know uh, c- community graves were dug and they were thrown into those uh, right. something that we have seen in kashmir files has happened yeah. in many times over in hyderabad one and mm-hmm. uh, there is one famous case i don't remember the name of the village where all the men were uh, disrobed clothes drenched in kerosene were wrapped around their uh, you know private parts and they were burnt can you imagine this kind of atrocity happening anywhere this has happened in hyderabad there were cases where the hindus were you know made to pay for the stay of razakars outside razakars used to come in hordes and it was the responsibility of the hindu villages to feed them one village in mahbub nagar district it is called aiza the village is still there the aiza village refused to pay for the stay of the razakars and refu- refused to supply fowls you know ka- ka- um, chicken and mutton so on and so forth so the whole village was burnt down so these kind of atrocities were very common the pujaris and the priests were specifically targeted one of my friends great grandfather his head was you know Uh, badgered into a granite stone and he was killed just because he was coming after performing a puja in his hereditary temple five priests were hung upside down and fire was uh, kept down below so that they die a very painful and slow and excruciating death many such incidents have happened rape pillage plunder and um, killing of uh, you know youth these were very common during the razakars there is a, a book called marathwada under the nizams it is a phd thesis okay. which is available on the google one can go uh, and uh, search for it in the google it gives a long list of over 400 500 villages that have been affected by razakar atrocities how the village after village was you know <clears throat> burned down 